Hey everybody, I am at a new listing, 654 Solitude Court, which is on the west side near Ivy Tech um, in the Fieldstone neighborhood. This house is much bigger than you think it is. It's a ranch over a full walkout basement with three, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, um, and tons and tons of space, and it's in impeccable condition. Let me turn around and show you. Here's the outside. Again, it's much bigger than it looks because it's about almost 1,500 square feet on the main level, but there's a whole other 1,500 square feet downstairs in the walkout, plus a really nice big fenced backyard. The other great thing about this house is that it is in impeccable condition. That roof is a month old. They, These sellers, these are kind of your dream sellers, right? They're not trying to take advantage of desperate buyers in this market. They had the house inspected. They went through line by line and did everything on the inspection report. They will share that inspection report with you. So new roof, um, the furnace is like six years old, the AC is three years old, kitchen appliances are like five years old, or their dishwasher I think is a year old, um, and just did all the things that the home inspector said to do to get the house ready. So it is move-in ready. It's been painted, carpets cleaned, whole shebang. Let's go inside and take a look. Here we are inside 654 Solitude Court. Look at this awesome big open floor plan. You walk in, you've got a coat closet over here. You can zoom out a little bit. All that makes more sense, doesn't it? And that's a door to the garage. But it's a, I really like this floor plan a lot. Um, just nice vaulted ceilings, just very big and spacious. Lots of volume, um, which is a nice airy feeling, especially when it's hot outside. It's nice to kind of feel that airiness inside. Um, so just kind of a quick overview, master bedroom we'll go into. This is the stairs down to the basement. And then there are two bedrooms and a full bath and laundry over this direction. So that popular split floor plan, so you can be on the same level, but far away from the other people. Um, and as you can see, very neutral, lovely, ready to move in. Um, I will say too, uh, this is really the best value in this area that you will find. If you do the math, I did the math yesterday. 17 homes in this neighborhood have been sold this year. Uh, this is price per finished square foot, by far the least expensive. Um, so it, you really get a lot of bang for your buck. That is a gas fireplace that was inspected as part of the inspection. They had someone come out and uh, a chimney fireplace person and make sure that was all good to go. Kitchen, I love this tile. This is really pretty tile. Very modern, all these gorgeous stainless steel appliances. Nice and open. They had a nice big table right here. There was plenty of room for a, a table. There's a pantry. And then here's your view out the back. So you've got a deck with stairs down. And we'll look at this as we go um, downstairs. But there's a shed, fire pit area, just a really cool hangout house. All right, let's go to the master bedroom. So this is the master. It's got an ensuite bath as well as walk-in closet. The tub shower. Like that. I know, I know. I should turn the lights on before I actually do this tour, but have I ever learned that? Nope. Okay. So that's the master. So plenty of space for a king size bed, night tables, the whole shit at night. Stands, what are they called? Nice stands. And then on this end, two bedrooms here. These are about 12 by 10, so decent sized bedrooms. There you go. And then the bath up here. You've got that same tile that's in the kitchen. And then this is the laundry closet. You know, there's plenty of space if you wanted to move the laundry downstairs and just have this as an upstairs storage closet. I don't think that would be a huge deal to do, but it is here on the main level for people who want that main level living and 
not having to go down into the basement unless they absolutely need to. Right, send the kids down there. All right, so let's go down to the basement. This space is huge because it's big and open. So there's, first thing we're gonna come to is the bedroom down here. Look at that window, it's nice big. Like this does not feel like a basement bedroom at all. And you've got a walk-in closet in here as well. Here's a view out of the back. That privacy fence. And the nice thing too is you're kind of up on a hill in this, uh, where this house is situated. So nobody, is like looking down on you, you're looking down on them. <laughs> and then you've got this space, it's enormous. Like you could have a pool table down at that end and still have a ginormous sectional, whatever you want. But then it even continues on over here. So this could be a really cool, like a bar setup or a game room or whatever you want. I mean, you could just use your imagination. There's a large walk-in storage closet here. There's another walk-in storage closet that goes back under the stairs. I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see that there. So again, good storage. Then there's, oh, we're not done yet. Wait, there's more. Then there's this room over here, which these owners mostly used as storage, um, but it is finished space. It could be, I mean, you could, you could put a door on that uh, if you wanted to use it as a windowless bedroom, um, office, whatever, we're not counting it in the bedroom count. I actually think that this could be a really good home theater space because um, there's no windows, right? And that's always good for a home theater. So put a door on it, hang a projector onto that wall over there or something, put in some theater seats, good to go. There is a full bath off of this as well with a walk-in shower. Same tile floor that's upstairs. Again, huge windows down here, so it really makes it feel like it's not a basement at all. And we'll take a quick walk outside as well. So this is just a little bit of an underhang, overhang with um, the deck above. And then the yard. Very cool, I like this. Um, fire pit area because it's paved so it's not just in the middle of the yard but there's a paved area so you can put chairs on it and really hang out there and the shed as well so 654 solitude court on the west side if you have any questions hit me up